This is Brad at Brad's Home Center. Welcome to another one of our videos. This is Fill the Pan, Fill the Belly. I got home last night and guess what happened? I forgot to go shopping or plan dinner. So I looked in my refrigerator and I saw what I needed. I had some pizza dough, some crescent rolls, I had some pepperoni, some frozen, not made by me, meatballs, a little pasta sauce and some cheese garlic and onions. I think I know what I'm going to do. So, in order for us to start, first thing you got to have, a pan. Doesn't need to be cast iron, doesn't need to be bowl, just needs to be a pan that goes in the oven. We're going to take some olive oil. Why? Well, I like olive oil. It's good for your heart, good for you to be healthy, don't want it to stick, want to be able to get it on the way out. Going to smear it around that pan. Next thing we need is some form of carbohydrate. I have used crescent rolls and biscuits more times than I can count. All I want to do is poke, poke that in the pan to act as something to hold it in. A bunch of little holes in it so the oil and heat can come through. A little oil on top. And a little garlic because I hate them damn vampires. This is my vampire cure, right? Put it in, smash it, and you never ever have enough garlic. Put it off, smear it around. A little extra oil. Next thing, I had some pepperoni in my freezer. I don't know, a bunch of you don't have that. You can just go straight to the meatball. But you know, an Italian's house, we make pizza all the time, you gotta have a little pepperoni. All the way around. What do you think we ought to do next? I'm thinking a little bit of sauce. And this is out of the can inexpensive. I have it in my refrigerator for an emergency sauce. Then, a little cheese. Everything's better with cheese. And next off, what do you think? Meatballs. One, two, we're gonna layer them up, baby. lovely layer of meatballs. Next thing, at your discretion. I like onions. Onions add extra flavor, so we're gonna fill her in. And then we're gonna add one of my things, fire roasted tomatoes. Helps bring out that extra. because we want lots of sauce, right? Some more shredded cheese because everything's better with cheese. And we can't have Italian food without some parm. A little olive oil. Help it brown up and look delicious. A little bit of oregano just to say it's Italian. Mm, mm, mm. That took what? Three minutes? A little more, a little less, start to finish. Ready to go in the oven. Cook it at 375 degrees till warm on the inside. Those frozen meatballs melt and the cheese goes down in. Probably 40, 45 minutes. You're going to have a wonderful dinner and your husband and your kids are gonna think you are a rock star that you are. Alrighty guys, meatball bake. Rob. Mm -hmm. Look at Raylan.
He ain't yelling yet. That's really hot, but it's really good. John? Mm -hmm. Got to have some of that pastry, have a little bit of that cheese, some onions and meatballs. Now start to finish less than an hour, right? Mm -hmm. Pepperoni, meatball, tomatoes, and cheese. What's better than that? A beer to go with that. That's what he wants. <laughs> Corona! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, heat up. I'll slice it up for anybody else. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. I'm going to sneak a fork out and have some myself. Excuse me. This is Brad at Brad's Home Center in Meals and Minutes. We cook this up, 15 minutes of preparation, hour in the oven. Your family's going to think you're a star. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.